Hey YouTube. So I have some Bitcoin lying on my cold storage wallet and I believe that now, September 2022, is going to be a very opportune time to buy Bitcoin um, for numerous reasons that I'm not going to get into in this video. But um, the problem is that I don't have a ton of funds just lying around that I can use to invest. Um, I've used some DeFi platforms like Aave and Compound in the past putting up my Ethereum as collateral in order to take out loans in order to purchase more. Um, obviously, there's a lot of intricacies and you, you really need to understand um, DeFi and the risks of taking out loans, but um, I really keep it safe and I'm over collateralized. So that means um, I'm, instead of if I want to take out one Bitcoin, uh, I'm putting up two Bitcoins. That way I don't run the risk of getting liquidated unless you know Bitcoin really, really goes, goes in the tank. Um, and I would take precautionary measures and make sure that I had more in reserves um, just in case it did. But um, you know, DeFi is not for everybody. You really need to understand it. So that being said, I really have my, my Bitcoin and I want to put that up as collateral to take out um, a loan to purchase more. The only problem is that um, Bitcoin doesn't use smart contracts like Ethereum or Polygon, right? Um, so there's really no DeFi protocols for it. So if we look at DeFiLlama.com, which is a list of all the different DeFi protocols by total value locked, um, we can see here the different chains that they run on, right? So we can see Ethereum and, and almost all of them, um, you know, the, the Polygons, the Avalanches, but you know, Bitcoin is obviously missing, right? Um, and you know, like I said, doesn't use smart contracts. So what you really have to do is you have to move your Bitcoin to the Ethereum blockchain um, by swapping it with something called wrapped Bitcoin, which is you know one-to-one -one value with Bitcoin. Um, so in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do that. Um, you know, from your hardware wallet. Um, there's a couple different steps. I looked online for a good tutorial on actually how to do this and I couldn't find one. So I decided to, you know, record this video and uh, put it out there for anybody in a similar situation who's trying to, you know, figure this all out for the first time. Uh, if you, if this does help you, please leave a like and uh, support the channel and, and give me a comment too, um, you know, if it, if it helped you or if you have any questions as well. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so I tend to stay away from the centralized exchanges um, for security reasons and because they charge you know, pretty big fees for everything. Um, so I keep uh, my uh, crypto on you know, this uh, Trezor right here. Um, you know, this video should work for any kind of cold storage. Um, Ledger is another popular one. It'll be the same thing. All right, so obviously first step is you plug it into your computer. Um, you, know, you, you already have your Bitcoin on here, I'm assuming. And, um, you know, you enter in your, your key or passphrase to, to unlock it. Um, and you kind of open up the UI, go to the asset, uh, you know, Bitcoin, because you might have a couple different cryptocurrencies on here. Then we're going to go to this, um, you know, renbridgeproject.io. Okay. Now, let's see, home. Yep. We're going to be, be staying on this mint tab. Uh, Initially, I thought it would be bridge um, just because I'm trying to move my Bitcoin to Ethereum. But that's not really it. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be trading our Bitcoin for REN BTC. Um, and, you know, that's going to enable us to trade that REN BTC. Let me pull up the, the PowerPoint. This could be able to exchange our BTC for REN BTC. Then we'll be able to go to Uniswap where we're going to exchange that REN BTC for WBTC. And WBTC is what's really, um, you know, able to be used on, you know, the Aave V2 Ethereum network and put up as collateral. Um, so that's why we need to just do that swap real quick. And, th and that'll be a one for one as well. Um, I haven't really figured out any, any way, you know, to avoid the REN bridge. I'm pretty sure you have to go through that um, unless you want to go to a centralized exchange, which you know, some centralized exchanges will just um, give you one for one for, you know, your Bitcoin to WBTC. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm avoiding the centralized exchanges. Okay, 
So let's go back to REN, BT, REN bridge. And we're going from Bitcoin to Ethereum. So I have my MetaMask um, Ethereum wallet already set up. Um, so I'm going to connect the wallet, MetaMask. Okay. If we go here, we need to be on the Ethereum network, right? Um, your MetaMask wallet can be uh, can, can be on multiple networks, right? It supports, I'm not sure why it's not coming up right now. Um, there we go. So I'm on the Ethereum mainnet. And what we're gonna do is just click next. How much do we want to send? We're gonna send 0 0.1 BTC. So then that's going to convert to 0.997 REN BTC, which is about, you know, 19 or $2,000 about. Um, there's a little bit of a, of a fee here. It's a, it's a certain percentage. Um, and you got your, you know, your smaller fees. And it's going to require ETH. Um, so you need to have some ETH in your wallet as well. Then we press next. And basically, this is your address that you need to send the Bitcoin to, you know, that amount. So I'm going, I'm going to go back to my wallet. And I'm going to click on send. I'm going to just paste in that address. and put in the 0 0.1 ETC. There's that. And review and send. Now I've set up my Trezor, um, you know, so I need to confirm all uh, transactions. So I'm gonna go on here, I'm gonna enter in my PIN. It's gonna ask me to sign the transactions, hold and to confirm. This is great because this is, you know, really secure. Now I'm gonna finally click send. This It's gonna take about 40 minutes, it says, so. You know, I'm gonna have to cut you guys off for a little bit and come back. So now it's sending. All right, awesome. You can look here and this will update um, soon and it'll, it'll say like processing. Um, let's just give it a couple seconds see if it comes up. But basically, I'll just, uh, I'm gonna stay on this page, go, there we go. Here we go, it's coming in. It's gonna get six confirmations and uh, I'll come back and see you in about 40 minutes. All right, so while we're waiting for that, I'd just like to point out that during this video, I'm using all decentralized protocols um, as opposed to you know, company-owned applications. And the difference is that you know, these company-owned applications, they can be influenced by greed, um, legislation, or the individual decisions of the CEO, um, whereas these Decentralized protocols are simply just code that's going to be executed no matter what. Um, if the certain criteria is met, you really know um, what you're getting. Um, so, you know, so like some of these centralized exchanges like Celsius, you can really um, lose all of your money if they go bankrupt. Whereas something like Aave, uh, which is decentralized, you know, you're not at the mercy of some CEO or someone making bad decisions. Um, you know, it's really just the code there. Um, and if you understand how it works, then you're, you're very safe, a lot, a lot safer than you'd be with a centralized um, exchange or entity. All right, now um, it's been about half an hour and we're ready to mint. So we'll go ahead and click on that. It's submitting this to the REN virtual machine. And basically, we're exchanging this one or 0.1 Bitcoin for 0.1 REN BTC. Okay, now it says mint REN Bitcoin. We'll click on that. MetaMask pop up over here. I'm going to go ahead and confirm. A little bit of gas that's needed. I'm going to go ahead and confirm on my Trezor. I'll tell you all the same things on your Trezor that you've seen. You know, just confirming the amounts of the gas. All right. 0.99 REN BTC received. All right, so now um, if you don't have REN BTC in your MetaMask yet, which is likely, um, you can add the, the Bitcoin token to MetaMask. You can click on that. 
Um, I'm not going to because I already have it. So if we go to my MetaMask, should be able to see it in there. Okay, we'll go to the assets. Why is it not there? Maybe we have to refresh. Oh, there it is. Okay, we just had to refresh. Yep. All right, nice. All right, now what we have to do, we have to go to Uniswap, right? So we'll launch the app. We will swap. I'm going to go to RenBTC. Select token, where to get that WBTC. We're going to do max to the gas is 343. Go ahead and swap. I'll tell you everything here. Confirm swap. We're going to go to confirm. I'll have to confirm on my ledger again. And you know, this is important. I, you know, just having this two factor authentication whenever you're making these transactions. This ensures that, you know, no one can remote into your MetaMask wallet, right, without actually physically being present and having the device on hand. Okay, confirm. Waiting for confirmation once this goes through. Um, if you don't have wrapped Bitcoin yet on your MetaMask, you can click that, add BTC, WBTC, and it'll show up. It's still pending, but after that's done, we'll be able to see, you know, you'll have that. Yep, the REN BTC is gone, and we have the WPTC here. All right, now we'll go to Aave.com. We'll launch the app here. Got to connect your wallet if it doesn't automatically. You'll see here that I've already supplied some wrapped Bitcoin. Did that yesterday. Um, went through all of this just to make sure it was working. And now I have some more, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to supply that as well. This is the wrapped Bitcoin, which you know I, I just swapped for, swapped my Ren BTC for. So I'm going to supply this max. Eleven dollars in gas fees. See what I do for this video. Um, all right. So yeah, I mean, if you're doing it with a very small amount, it's it's not going to be worth it. Um, let's see, estimated gas sixteen. Confirm. Gonna have to confirm on the treasurer. Close. You can see now here I have close to 0.2 bitcoins, wrapped bitcoins, to supply as collateral, and I'm going to be getting a APY or yearly percentage of 0.05% of that, you know, which is, is barely anything. Um, you know, that, but that's not really why I'm supplying it, right? Uh, if we did want to look at, you know, what you can supply, we can go to the markets. And you can see that supply APY, um, you know, some of these have some crazy ones, which I'd be wary of. But yeah, the whole reason why, you know, I wanted to, you know, put my um, Bitcoin here was so that I can borrow against it, right? So what I can do now is I can borrow a stable coin, such as USDC or DAI. And um, let's choose the variable rate. I'm not gonna actually go through this, but um, let's see how much. So I have about $4,000. So say I wanna borrow 2,000. We can see what our health factor is. Um, typically, you know, the yellow is somewhat safe, but if it falls below that, you know, one, ratio, then I'm going to get liquidated, which means that all of this Bitcoin, wrapped Bitcoin that I have here is, is gone, right? So typically you want, you want to stay a little bit safer. Let's say I wanted to take out a thousand dollars, right? Now the ratio or liquidation 
or health factor is 3.19, and I would be able to borrow the die. This gas fee, um, you know, this is the Ethereum network. Uh, it's crazy. Um, you know, maybe it would be better if I moved this over to Polygon. You know, there is a bridge where you can trade, um, you know, wrap Bitcoin to the Polygon chain so that you do have some lower fees. And, you know, Aave does support both uh, the Polygon and, and Ethereum. So you would just be able to go here and you go to version three and you just choose Polygon. So you can do it that way too. But the whole purpose is, you know, once I borrow this die, then I can use that um, to purchase more Bitcoin. And that really completes the cycle of, you know, what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, I still think that we have some further to go in September to drop. So I'm definitely not going to be making a big purchase of Bitcoin um, right now. I think I might wait till uh, prices fall a little bit more. I kind of want to see how September plays out. All right, hopefully this video helped you uh, learn something, you know, bring your Bitcoin to RenBridge, convert it to RenBTC and then Uniswap um, to get your WBTC and then bring it back to, to Aave. Um, you know, like I said, you might want to do that other step of, you know, convert, converting your WBTC from the Ethereum network to the Polygon network for those lower fees. Um, and you can do that through that, that Polygon chain. I'm going to um, put all the links that I used in the, uh, the, the description of the video. Um, so you can just easily reference them. And again, please leave a like and subscribe for future content. All right, peace.